What's good, everybody? Welcome to the Garfish Podcast. What's Garfish? It's the double entendre, you know what I'm saying? We're not quite golfers, a little too much swag for that, but we Garfish. And, uh, yeah, we only talking that Garfish, you know what I'm saying? You do. I really started a podcast with hitters that I had just met on the tee box. Mike is the best, the best, I'ma need three shots. If I went, I'ma call Cap and I'm telling him he not. He used to be in the league. Now we just drawing it over the trees and I'm in between. Or I done lost it. Golf in the day and the night we gonna talk it. This is the Garfish. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he come, he come in dropping gems. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slow it down, slow it down. Save it for the... Hey, <laughs> man, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, Mike, stand up real quick. What you got uh, on? I got you, man. I oh, got that, you. Boy, that boy got that trapped off. Huh? Okay. <laughs> I got you, man. Okay. I got you. Okay. <laughs> you official with it. I got uh, you, bro. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, at the players, I'm caddying for uh, Tyler McComber. And we, uh... We have a tea time, you know, and Monday we practicing. We played Sunday, played nine holes. Monday we practicing. It's like, man, his shoulder, you know, hurting. So he went and got a – I guess it been hurting. Um, but Monday it was hurting, I guess, a little worse. So he got an MRI and uh, got the results, and he got some stuff going on. So we – he tried to play through it. You know, we – uh due, due to the rain delay, our first round didn't start until Friday because of all of the rain. Yeah. And then it got dark. So we our first round went until Friday at 7.15. So yeah. we tried to get ready to get gear to go, give it a go, hit balls on the range. Uh, and we were gonna have to play 36 holes that day. Uh so that was gonna be a whole lot. And then if you know you can't go, ain't no point in you tearing it up and, and messing up yourself worse when you got a long career in golf, you know? Uh, yeah. You know? 36 holes on you? Yeah. yeah, you always gotta take care of your health, man. You yeah. know, you only got one body, our body and golf is not even made to function like that. You know what I mean? The human body not made to twist that like hard, this right yeah. here with that much force and torque. You know, so yeah. over the years, professional golfers doing that, hitting balls, hundreds and hundreds of balls, day in, day out, year over year, different turf. Uh, you know, that wear and tear on your body. Yeah. Well, uh, so, so how old is uh, how old is Tyler? How old is uh? Because I feel like that's kind of a new name. Uh, well, like man, tell you the truth, I don't know how old Tyler is. Yeah, I mean, just he, uh, he young, younger guy, you know. Like, yeah, yeah, he's younger, he but he he ain't super young. Like he, oh, okay. he not fresh out. He of college. seasoned. Okay. He seasoned. Yeah, he okay. he came up through the ranks. Like he played the mini tours. He went to Canada, uh, PJ Canada played up there, won three times in a row. Moved, got corn fairy status. Went out there, played well, won out there. Uh, now he out here on the PJ tour. Real good player. He ain't battled with some injuries. Um, and they just come with, you know, being a professional athlete. All professional athletes, I guess, deal with some type of injury or or, or something at some point in their career. Yeah, you know? it's, it's it's crazy you, you talk about that because you don't really – people don't really look at golf, you know, and golfers as athletes, you know what I mean? But, like, you know, they, they dropped that number the other day. Like, LeBron spent, like – like the numbers sound stupid on how much he spent on his body. You, uh, you probably oh, heard some it. M's. Yeah, some M's. Yeah. Oh, it was a, it was a whole lot of M's, and I was just like, yeah, bro, yeah. that's 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 not possible. But oh, you know Russell what I mean, like, huh? They said Russell do too. He said he spent about one to two. Uh, well, I mean, year but it, it, right but it's just kind of one of those things. You know, it's just kind of one of those things where like you know they're they're blessed to have had a career. You know what I mean? Where they got they have the ability to do that, and it gives them. You know what I mean? It it lets them protect their body for that long. You know what I mean? So, like, guys on the tour, like, I'm sure the top guys on the money list, I'm sure they drop in the bag for their body, too. And then when you got guys that are still working their way up, you know what I mean? Like, that's – I mean, I, I would imagine that's just more pressure because it, it sounds like the way you kind of described it, it sounds like it's, it's – with everybody, it's a matter of time. It's just a matter of, like, you know what I mean? Like, to what extent that – you know, we see we see Tiger in the, in the news. Try, we know, you know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. You try to – Work out and do exercises to prevent that stuff. Okay. Build build a muscle around uh 
you know, those joints and those things that's going to have a lot of impact or going to do a lot of, like, your core. You want your core to be be tight, so it makes sure your back hold up. Protect your back, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You want to You want your legs to be tight, so you won't be getting tired on the golf course. I mean, you want your legs to be strong, so you won't be getting tired on the golf course, making tired swings coming down the stretch. You know what I mean? You want to be have some endurance and be mentally tough. So when you playing in these tough conditions, you know, you be able to weather that storm like them boys play uh Saturday. Thursday. Uh yeah, no, the first, yeah. Whenever they Saturday, play. Yeah, yeah, no, I, think, I think it is Saturday. It was Saturday. It was Saturday, Saturday yeah, I was yeah. camped out. Yeah, I was camped out on Saturday. Yeah. So, I was camped out so front of the TV. When you play in those type of conditions, man, you got to be mentally tough. You know what I mean? The numbers with that much wind, still bad to stay in it. When you playing bad, you might be four, five, over par, first three holes, but still bad to stay in it. You know what I mean? To get it to, get it to two over or one over. You know what I mean? Every stroke yeah. out here in that golf. Yeah, I do want to say though, I, I thought I saw a video circulating. But your boy over here putting the ball on a green himself, oh, yeah. you know, trying to show these pros how to do it, you know. Slight work, slight work. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I did see that. Yeah, hey, man, you know, I ain't new to it, I'm true to it, man. You got your, hey, you got your, you got your notepad, Foster. Uh, you always got a notepad, sir. Come hey, on, man, hey, man, hey, hey, man, hey, Wayne, Wayne he know. To, hey, man, he about to give you all them little one liners, man, all them little signatures. Hey, he got I'm, the signature. I'm, I'm, I'm writing them all down, baby. <laughs> I'm writing them all down. So hey, uh, when that polo when that polo drop it, man, that polo look nice. Oh, right, this one right here, this old throwback, yeah. man. So uh, throwback? We, might, okay. we might have to re-release it, man. Y'all gotta man. jump on it. Y'all gotta jump on it when it come out. We like uh, like them Jay. You all better be in line when we when we drop stuff. Yeah, man. I'm I'm to you, fly out. Like, y'all like, gonna be mad. Be like, man, when it coming back, man? Yeah. So y'all just so so with Trump, y'all just had like a y'all were kind of shut everything down for a little bit, and then y'all just had like a relaunch, right? Yeah, we ain't really shut it down. We just revamped we our the, website. The website, we, I you know what I'm saying? We re revamped our website, so we had like a little countdown on the website. We did relaunch everything, come with some new product, uh, some dope product, uh, good quality. Um, and so we just relaunched everything. Website made it more functional. Because we, we started this, you know what I mean? From the ground out the mud and in, in the garage and mud no. trapping, mud heat pressing everything. We touching everything like mud touch this shirt. You know what I'm saying? Mud yeah. touch that shirt you got on, Mike. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? Hand touch it. You know what I'm saying? Like we had our own embroidery machine. We really trapping. You did what I'm saying? Yeah. Everything we touching. No it ain't bitch. just a. It ain't just a name, huh? We really out here no, trapping man. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It hey, is what it is. It's what it is. Boy, man. Hey, big facts. That's what's up. That's what's up. It's a real one right there. You know what I'm saying? So how even with huh? these kids, even with, with these kids, we got these kids traveling. These kids want to be like, hey, man, I need to make sure my grades straight so so I can make sure I I stay trapping. Cause yeah, they yeah. trying to say, I gotta stay trapping, dog. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> you can't have you can't have your grades dropping, dog. They ain't trapping right up. Uh, Everybody right. want to hang trapping. with nobody. Got these D's, nah, cool. nah straight up, straight <laughs> up, <laughs> straight up. Yeah, That's between sad. between like I know between you and Roger and like I, I I'm I'm sure Aaron does the same thing, you know what I mean? But I just know I see I I see y'all page more, but I know y'all both are like real adamant about like getting kids involved, you know what I'm saying? So like, is that just, is that like kind of like a mission for trap, or is that just kind of? What y'all do, you know what I mean? It's just is it y'all passion coming out and you guys, you it's, know, represent trap or what's it, up? It's it's all of it, man. It's all of it and a pot of gumbo. So I got two degrees in education. You did what I'm saying? Yeah. So and mine got degrees in education. He'll teach them. So I taught for five years. I was an athletic director, the youngest athletic director in the state of Louisiana at 28 years old. You did what I'm saying? And yeah. Roger. He an educator, you know. He was teaching the class, uh, entrepreneurship class at the yeah, charter yeah. school. Yeah, you yeah. did what I'm saying. So it's like it's natural for us that we around the kids, so we know what the kids gravitate to. They gravitate to the the word trap. They all want to be trappers. They hear it in the in the music. You did what I'm saying. I right, bet. So kids look at Roger, and be like, man, dang, Roger still cool. He cool as hell. He got that right. trap golf on. Then he see homie over here on the block. 
be like, man, hold on. Nah, he cool. Man, he keep going to jail. People be shooting him. But everybody looking at Roger and be like, damn, man, Roger got signed with Nike. And I'm going to get with this trap goes and see what, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to get yeah. on this side of the fence because them boys doing everything that shot them down doing, but they ain't going to jail. Yeah, they ain't yeah. getting shot at. He boy traveling the world with their golf. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, and they I still having fun with it. Yeah. No, that's dope, man. That's dope. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know you was educated. I'm educated myself, bro. So that's what's up. That kids really do, yeah. yeah, they really do think like that, bro. You're right. Oh yeah. yeah. And so I yeah. taught at all, all levels. I had my um concentration in health and phys ed. So I taught at all levels. I'm certified kindergarten through 12th. So when I first came out of college, I was at the elementary school. Yeah. And you yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm like, I was deaf. They were paying good. It was a charter <laughs> school. They were paying good. Yeah. But I ain't the one to be with the little kid. They like can't do it, dog. Can't do it, man. Don't do it. I'm like, man, hit them back. Hit them back. Tie my shoes up. What? What you talking about? Yeah, nah, nah. Yeah. He's looking at me. I'm like, come on. (laughs) (laughs) I can relate, bro. I totally understand, bro. Only I I was there for a while, a year or so, and then I moved to the middle school. So sixth through eighth grade. Mayfair Middle in Van Roo. I'm talking about they the yeah, you jungle over there. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, yeah, you in the trenches. Hey, Mayfair, man. Y'all, if you go look up Mayfair and Van Roo, you know what's happening. So yeah. uh there, sixth through eighth grade, I had some gorillas. So uh NBA Young Boy was there, Baby Joe was there, uh Simo was there, uh Rod was there, so it's like, man, it was a lot of gang. What they they end up turning out to be real live gangsters, all yeah. in this school at one time, and oh, it really? was it was haywire. But I had a rapport oh. with all of them. You did. Right. Yeah. I had a rapport with all of them, so they all respected coach. Like I used to have to go to other teacher class to calm, get them, calm yeah, the class get them down. down. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. had I had more rank than the principal. Like the principal would be <laughs> mad at me. Yeah. Because the kids listen at me and don't listen at him. I'm like, my brother, it's not right. <laughs> it's hard to explain. I can just I can only yeah, 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 yeah. You know? So yeah. and then I moved to the high school and I love the high school, you know. Love the high school. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's, that's crazy. I mean, you you it's crazy you start from you still so you explain it's like your educational career. Like how you get from you get from that. Now you uh, yeah, now you bro. now you caddying. And, tour, and you got bro. your own apparel line. Like, no, how does that like, yeah. like, what that transition look like? How you get from educator One, to, yeah, a to where B. you at now? Yeah, hey, like, man. How, how did that look? Hey man, the man upstairs, God, oh, that's how it look. You need. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't. I I can't paint this picture or tell you this was my path or this is what I envisioned because I didn't. You know, when yeah. I came up, well, I just wanted to be able to survive and uh. Be able to go into a shoe store and be able to buy shoes when I wanted to. That was mm-hmm. like when I came up. That that was like I ain't had these big coming from where I'm from. I was like, man, I just want to be able to go in the shoe store, be able to buy the shoes I want, and be able to live and be good. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. And yeah. you know, being around golf, that's how I got here. I know. You know so what, I mean? what took you to golf? Though, how you get to golf? Yeah, how did? Because uh, you've been. I th- I I think. You've been in it for a while, right? You, yeah. You like then you play collegiately. Yeah. So, oh, right. my daddy, my daddy, he told me at the early age, golf where the money is. So, like I told you, I always was a hustler. I always wanted to like get money so I can buy shoes. I always wanted yeah. to work at the shoe store, but they would never hire me. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> the dreams, dog. Yeah, yeah man. man. I always oh, have that. Yeah, hey, sure. yeah, yeah. Man. Everybody want that shirt. Count, dog. I just need that discount. <laughs> that's all I, I need. need discount, yeah, and you gotta pay me. I just need a discount. <laughs> yeah, that's all I want. The discount. Uh, give me that thirty. Hey, what, hey, what you need? You need the J's? I got you, bro. Got you. That's yeah. all I wanted. You know what I mean? Yeah. But they would never hire me. So my daddy told me golf where the money is. So I started working at a golf course, and uh, it just kind of opened you up around a lot of people. Then you see people who really get money, like really get money. Yeah. So. Uh, working there, I started caddying at a golf course. P one got P one driving club. So I'm working at Lakeside P one driving club. Then I started working at Wolf Creek Golf Course. So 
at the Wolf Creek Golf Course, the head pro there, Randy Gerbert, took me up on this wing, started hitting me on my swing. I knew how to play when I was younger, but never really like took it serious because I played other sports, played football, basketball, ran track, always stayed active in other sports. So golf wasn't really like my thing, but my daddy played it, my uncle, he played it, you know what I mean? So I knew how to play, but never really like go out there and do it. Yeah. So in uh, high school, I'm working at that golf course. He took me up on the wing, started helping me on my swing. We got a golf team at school. By my junior year, he was like, man, you good enough to go play in college. I'm like, college? Man, I just started really playing a few years ago. <laughs> you know, people go to college be playing when they little kids. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Uh, so my senior year, he put me in a couple tournaments. And I played good, and, and coaches started calling. So I had football scholarships. Um, but I started falling in love with that golf. Like, I got That's tired of yeah. I played I play football from when I was five until I was 18 every year, no years off. I had just kind of got burnt out of that running, lifting weight, you know, and this golf field was like, man, you out here chilling. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm yeah. running into professional athletes like um, uh, who we used to kick it with, Cornelius Bennett, Ron Gant, uh, Mad Max, Vernon Maxwell. So they yeah. all used to come out there to that golf course. And by me being a car tenant, I watched them play a few holes. I'm like, man, this is right here. What's happening? You know? <laughs> so I wanted to get as far as away from College Park as I can get. So Southern University offered me a golf scholarship. I went down there. I had no family, no friends, nobody down there. So I went as far as I can get away from College Park to go to school because I, I felt like they gave me my best chance to be successful. You did. I had to get out of there. Get out of college yeah. park. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So what was uh what was the what was the career like? I I've heard some of it. Uh I know you I know you won at the collegiate level, right? Yes. Four yeah, time. okay, okay. Photon. Hey, hey, put hey, put said, your foes hey, up. Bit, photon. Hey, oh. photon. <laughs> put your foes up. Yeah. That's, that's what's up, and, that's, and this this one thing that if any black collegiate golfers paying attention to this, take advantage of the time that you in school playing college golf. Cause I didn't take advantage of it. You did what I'm saying? Not that, not like I should have. I didn't have that guidance. You did. I was just trying to get out of school and I didn't even think about turning pro until my senior year. I never even thought about it because nobody around me was when no I pro. Did it. Yeah. I you know what I'm saying? Like I saw one guy that was Tiger Woods and he was like one of like, a, you, he's yeah. goat, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But there's yeah. nobody else like you saw playing basketball or football that were playing golf. So I'm like, when well, my coach asked me my senior year, man, what you going to do next? I'm like, shit, I'm just trying to graduate, coach. He's like, you ain't going to turn pro? I'm like, pro? I can turn pro? He's like, yeah. Like, he was like, you don't want four times you're all American. I mean, you got the credentials, go ahead and give it a shot. I'm like, Damn, what I need to do? Like, yeah, I, coming from sport, yeah, coming from the other sports, you think you got to get drafted, right? You yeah, I'm like, what, like I, need, yeah, what yeah. I need to do? So, I in the summertime, I never played in amateur events because I was trying to get the money. I was working at a yeah. golf course down there in Louisiana called Country Club Louisiana. So, working there in the summertime because it was the best golf course around, so I get to play free golf. Yeah, yeah you did what I'm saying, yeah, yeah. And, and you get good tips there. So, I'm Always trapping that, that golf. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Got to win. Gotta get to the money. Got to get to the money. Got to get to the money. So you, know, like you, had, you got you got this check every week coming from CCL, and you getting tips every day. You know, and them boys rolling big over the twenty dollar tip, not no little two three dollar tip. They twenty ten. Yeah, let me get that. Add them. Keep adding that up. That shoe box <laughs> got now be full. Yeah, you got those J's on lock. <laughs> hey, let go. So, so hey, y'all like, see how he slid that all American status in there, though? Like, low key, he slid uh, the all American status. Key, right? in there. Oh, yeah, I mean, you went four, hey, you went four times, man. It, it, yeah, like four times all American status. The they got to come with the territory, man. Yeah, for sure. It, it, it should have been more than that, but, uh, you know, stuff happens. It's like, I, I went all in on golf when I was in college. I was. You know, I was just using golf to get this education. I was the first boy in my family to ever graduate high school, going to college. So I just really wanted to get that that piece of paper. But you know, yeah. I was out there grinding, man. 
Bro, this sounds like a 30 for 30 story, bro. Like, I swear you're the first black hey, man I know that, like, played golf in college, All-American. Like, bro, this is this is crazy to me. Yo, you're the, only, you're the only black person I know on a bag right now. I can't name. Yeah, I like, can't even look at another clip yeah. with somebody else on the bag right now, bro. Oh, we, yeah, got, crazy, we, got, we got two more guys out here. We got on Brian people. Mahoney. Matter of fact, I'm staying. Me and Brian staying here together. He out at dinner. Uh, and we got Reynolds Robinson. So we got okay. it's three of us out here. It's three of us. Hey, we three that, deep. We in that thing. We taking over. And that's on. That's on. That's on PGA. Like you talking yeah. about? They all. That, okay, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. So yeah, Reynolds, yeah. Reynolds caddy for uh, Joseph Bromley. And, oh, yeah. Okay. And uh, Brian Mahoney, he caddies for Hayden Buckley. He, Hayden Buckley, oh, a rookie, nice. but they've been balling though. They came out the gate. <laughs> T four, like what's happening? We here. Oof. <laughs> Oof. They getting them chats then. They getting bro. It's like hey, we got hey, low key. We got like I'm. I, I don't know if y'all can see my face, but I'm like in amazement because I'm like, bro, we got a real like. Look, first of all, I've never had a caddy in golf in my life, so I don't even know what it takes to become a caddy, what it's like to have a caddy, but the fact that we got a black caddy here on the PGF, that's just dope to me. Like, yeah. I only like what is it? What is that like? How first of all, you you're you're a unicorn out there, obviously, because it's you ain't you know there's three of y'all out there on the PGA tour. Yeah. Like how's that on the course? Like, like obviously we playing a sport that's not predominantly our sport, and you're out there on the bag too. Like, is it because y'all like you always hear these caddy stories where like y'all ain't necessarily treated like equal, but and then now you talking about you throw your color on top of that. Like, is that is that experience unique to, to like what we think it is like outside looking in, or is it? I don't know. Like, I'm just like man, you already a black caddy. Like, how's that experience for you? Uh, yeah. no, I can't speak on everybody's experience. No, I can speak on mine. Um, I love being out here. You did. I take on that moment. Hey, I, yeah. I, 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 I know. I I try to get my shine on. You did what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. But I work hard though. You did right. Oh, yeah. I like to work yeah. hard. I don't know what not working hard look like for me. And I think I'm a little different. Just because uh, my passion for the game is so strong, and I'm such a student of the game, and it's like all I be trying to do is just all I want to do is be the best. I want I want to win the most tournaments as a caddy. That's my goal. I only got one on the PGA Tour now, but when the first one is the hardest one, but they say you got to make it up with that second. Once you, then you all to the off to the run runners. So it's like I had plenty of chances with with players uh to win. But once I pop that second one, it's it gonna be on. But it's like I remember coming out here my first week out here, it was the travelers. And the travelers, the driver range sits sits down. So mm -hmm. most of the fans be up. So you feel I was like, man, we around this wooden gate. It's like we in the arena. Yeah. And so that week, it was two two black caddies. It was me and a guy named Tommy Bennett. Tommy Bennett, OG, black caddy, used to caddy for uh, – he didn't caddy for a lot of guys, but he caddy for Tiger Woods and 95 Masters uh, when Tiger was an amateur. So oh, ran into Tommy. Tommy took me up on his wing, rock, walked the golf course with him. He showed me how to roll putts. You know, t still to this day, I roll putts. So I ain't never used them green books. You remember them green? They outlawed them green books. So <laughs> yeah, I ain't yeah. never used them green books. I yeah, no problem. Putts. You did. Yeah. So now that hard work with Tommy put me on a long time ago that I've been doing over the last eight years is natural now. I'm like I've been doing it. So all those is in my book with just straight rows. So it's just in that travel, it felt like a zoo because you were sitting down. Yeah, and everybody you know, y'all kind of. Oh yeah, looking. looking. And it's in Connecticut, right? It's the one yeah. in Connecticut. Yeah, I, I know. I and I told there. my player at this time it was Andrew Luke. I said, "Bro, I feel like I'm in a zoo." You know, it was like, "Look, they go, yeah. look." You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Yeah. But, yeah. but is it not? Is it not like that all the time? Or is it just more like since it's like oh, a, like they're on top of you? That was just my worse. first time. That was my first event. Oh, okay. So you used oh, okay, to it gotcha. now. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. I mean, it's, that's that's equivalent to like a rookie going into his first, you know what I mean, his first NBA, NFL game. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Them lights come on and you just. Yeah, I'm like, you, yeah. like man, I feel like I'm in the <laughs> <laughs> Starstruck over here, you know. 
You might have seen pros, you saw TV. Yeah, the Rams. Yeah. Like, you ever seen like you ever uh go to the tournament with Tiger? I've been been the tournaments, plenty of tournaments with Tiger, but never in the same group. Oh, okay, okay. Did you have a did you have a chance to meet him, talk to him? Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. met him, got flag signed. I ain't really had like a like long in depth conversation. conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying what it is. What's up? I call him Uncle Dubs. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Dubs. Right up. Straight up, that's how he knew how to do. Black folks, you know we always gotta call somebody Kim for. What up, Kim? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you to know. I want you to remember me, so ain't nobody yeah. gonna call you Uncle Doug. Uncle Doug right? Straight up, straight up. Hey, what up, Aunt? Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, he he called you, call you nephew. Hey, what up, nephew? Yeah, yeah, what up, nephew? Yeah. <laughs> when he call me, when he do call me that, then we will be locked in. <laughs> yeah, straight up. <laughs> straight up. Yeah, I want to hear that uh, Tiger Woods calling somebody nephew, boy. I pay this. I pay to hear that, boy. Hey, so, hey, but, uh, so hold on. So, so real quick. So, you you, you mentioned rolling putt. So, none of us. So, I guess. Yeah, Mike, what does that even Mike, mean? Mike's got the most experience in golf. Like, I hoop. And then I play, I play small college ball. And then I found golf. Uh, Foster, that, uh, B, he, he played, uh, he played football at UT. And then when he got drafted into the NFL and then played in the NFL for a year. And so, we, like, we picked it up on the back end. Mike has a little bit more, but like, I'm always interested because I remember I first met you at um at the uh, Nelson when they had it at Trinity. Yeah. And uh and I was there with McCray, you know what I mean? And like y'all had chopped it up. And so that's the first time we met. But I like I could tell you about your business, bro. Like you you had like lean back and y'all was on the practice run, you had lean back, and then you had you talked to McCray for a little bit, but then you went right back to uh, you know, you went right back to your player and you like I was I was trying to hear like what do they be talking about? Like you hear it on TV. So, like, what are some of the things that, like, make uh, a caddy, you know what I mean, that, like, if, if somebody else wanted to do that? Because i like, bro, I'm hearing you talking. I'm like, man, I wish I, I, man, I, wish I wasn't hooping, dog. Like, I, I, wish, I wish I had been on somebody's bag when I was in high school, you know what I mean? Like, so what are some of the things that, like, make a good caddy uh, a good caddy, you know what I mean? Like, what's that process like? Oh, uh, man, that's a hard question. Zach. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull another kid. Oh, we got another yeah, guest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's, Zach, what's up? You want to answer this question? What makes a good caddy? I don't know. There's so many other things. I I guess it need to be a player. Uh, what, makes a good, what makes a good caddy? Yeah, good Zach. Player. Then my boy Zach right here. Zach, how what up, Zach? What up? Hey, what's good? good? Zach been out here seven years. Good he, player. He he uh he caddy he caddy for a bar in China. Um, so what you, what you think? Oh, he said, he said a good player makes a good caddy. Nah, oh, man, that's, I'm out. That's a, yeah, that's, out. yeah. Ah, we don't know. Oh, that's the last thing I wanted to hear, man. Right. Hey, I wanted to hear you could do it with the heart. You ain't got, you ain't got to have them sticks. You hey, got to have it here. I feel like, um, I don't know. That question is so hard because every player is different. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Every player is different. Every player wants something different. One player might need a whole lot of information to cover on this bunker, uh, how many we got behind the pin, where to win. And then one player might only want the front number and the whole number or just the whole number. You know, one player might not even want you to say too much, just – Get him the win direction mm -hmm. and make sure y'all both got the same number yardage and count on where y'all want to land it on. You know, so I guess when you ask what's a good caddy, it all depends on who answering that question. And I and okay. I would I, I would imagine like just having that awareness, you know what I mean? Like I I, I would bet I would I, I would think like in your first event, you got used to one player and then you went to the next guy and you was like, okay, this is what I do for him. And he might be like, nah, bro, I don't, I don't even need all that. You know what I mean? Just give me – so, like, having that awareness to understand, okay, I got to spend time figuring out what he wants and what he needs and then make sure that I can get that. Like, I would imagine that's a part of it, you know what I mean, on the growth yeah. process. It's, it's, it's a important part of it. But I think where I uh, excel in that is because I was an educator. So I used to have to deal with all different type of students. Kids, yeah, yeah. Behind all mm -hmm. different type of backgrounds, you know what I mean? Raised up different type of ways. So you have to deal with them different, you know? And I have a good rapport with all of those students. So it's like, I feel like I can catch it for anybody. I can, I can, you know what I mean? I can see how you, you moving and then I can adapt. 
you did and still give you the best best help that you need to try to get this ball in the hole as quick as possible mm-hmm. and play the best golf that you can play. You know, got to be yeah, able to be time. versatile. Yeah, be, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I think I learned that later on, but when I was a younger caddy, I felt like, man, I know it because I won early. I won so early, like on the corn ferry, that it was like, I felt like, damn, okay, I know I, I know this stuff, but damn, it came like that. We should be running hmm. it up. So you need yeah. to be doing what I'm telling you to do. You did, and they ain't always, they it'll go the other way, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, so you know what, I, mean, I think, like, so you're telling me, so I guess, I, you know, it's crazy to me. It's like, I, I would think that you would have one player, and you, like, is it not like a contract stuff? Like, you only with this person one tournament? Like, how, man, did, like, how do you go about getting know, these players? I don't know how all caddies do it, but sometimes it's just being at the right place, one right time. That's how you kind of got started, so... Like, yes. when I say I used to work at Country Club of Louisiana, I was playing college golf, going back, not to cut off this subject. Remember what we just talking about right there, but just give you the backstory. I was caddying for Andrew Luke. Not Andrew Luke. I wasn't caddying for him, but I was working at the golf course, and they wanted me to play against Andrew Luke. He was a oh, right. good player, and he was young. He was 15, had just tied for seven in the Adams tight live event. I'm playing college golf. I'm playing good. I'm like, I don't care who he is. He got to hit his ball because I'm hitting mine. So we play. <laughs> we play. Uh, I beat him. We play again. We tied. And I ain't beat him since. <laughs> he did. And uh, he went to LSU. He was an All-American there. Won multiple times. Then he got his corn ferry card. So I'm an athletic director. Couldn't coach basketball like AAU because it was a conflict of interest. So he was like, man, come and caddy for me uh, in the summer. So I caddy for him. We went five for six weeks. Five for six cuts. I caddy for him for six weeks. We went five for six cuts. Then I came back to school, and he ended up getting his PGA Tour card that year. Went to go watch him again in the summer in, in Memphis, St. Jude. He hit it all over the place. Next week, he called me like, hey, man, you got a range finder with slope? I'm like, no, nah, the one I had, I gave you. <laughs> he was like, man, uh, well, we need to get one. I'm like, get one? We? He was like, yeah, I need you to caddy for me. I'm like, bro, you know, I'm teaching, I'm athletic director. I got benefits. This yeah. one second year, it's like, <laughs> uh, benefits, bro. Uh, if you don't play good, I don't really get no money. You know what I'm saying? You ain't been playing good this year. So he was like, that's why I need you. So jumped on this bag, and we did good. He had conditional status, didn't do good the following year. I went to go resign from teaching because when I first told them about it, they granted me a leave of absence for a year. Went and resigned uh, and just stepped out on faith because I was resigning from school, but we only had conditional. He didn't have no more status if he didn't get his card in the Corn Ferry Finals, you know. Mm -hmm. So we had four events to get his card. And if he didn't get his card, then they were going to be up. You know, we had finished 198 on the FedEx. So they, he ain't going to get in no events. Yeah. So played played in Ohio and won by two shots. The rest is history. Wow. And we're here now. Oh, 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 yo, yo, <laughs> though, like, did you mention a little bit, you know, how monetary – you know, wise. How was you know being a caddy? Is it is it decent money? Good money? Like yeah, you know, the kids want to know. The kids want to know. It's real good money when you play good. But if you don't play good, then you you spend a lot because your expenses are a lot. You travel a lot. You on the plane week in week out. You in the hotel. hotel. So you get you get the plane every week, twice a week because you get one on Sunday. You get another one on Sunday. You flying in or you flying out. Two planes a week. You get in the rental car for a week, and you get in the hotel yeah, for a week, and you got to mm. eat eat for a week. So Option. you get a you get a weekly salary, <laughs> and then you get a percentage of what the player make. You know he made the cut, but if he ain't making no cuts, yeah, and all you get is that salary, and so that you using that salary to pay your expenses. Man. So then you be like, oh, yeah. So if you ain't playing good. 
it can go. You be like, hey, everybody mad, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> right, everybody. Have, have you like- you got to keep that positive attitude and go. And I think that's another thing that helps with being a good caddy because you, know, you got to weather the weather the storm. Not play good all year. He played good certain times of the year. You know, if you're not all the way in on the golf course and you got other distractions off the golf course, you can't play no good golf. You did. Hmm. If you got anything yeah. else on your mind other than golf, you can't play no good golf. Hey, this is spin off of that. I be seeing some caddies, man. They have to get a little, you know, extra on the crowd sometimes. They be messing with their players. So you ever wow. had to. You know, yeah, flex with somebody real quick. Like, I was about hey, to go. Like... I'm about, to, I'm about to go through my phone because I had that video when y'all was up in Minnesota. It was Minnesota, wasn't it? When I, I, I do it all the time. Man. You got <laughs> hey, so all that it could be anywhere. Yeah. Hey, that yeah. I want you quiet when my player hit. You know, I'm gonna. I'm gonna hey, please make sure your phones are on silent. Please, thank you. You know, hold still on the cart path. Hold that cart, please. But if you do it again, then it's like, all right, you get come on, you, you already know you, had, you already know you already know you had a golf course, yeah. right? Yeah. And y'all, the fans are coming out to have fun. They drinking, yeah. but this is our job. Guys yeah. are playing for their livelihood. You know what they I mean? Too. For their yeah. car. You know, this is they trapping golf like they all in. This is how they get their money. You go to a job. And they pay you. These guys play for their money. So, yeah. you know, in golf, if you sitting there, you over your ball, you in your backswing, you hear some, some <clears throat> car slamming on break, you go, you got water yeah. everywhere, out of bounds. Oh, you ain't man. got that Tiger Woods stop. You, you, you losing come, that ball. <laughs> yeah, come on. You know, or somebody phone ring right when he on his downswing. So, I just try to do my best to Respect the fans because they paying to come out there, right? They paying to come out there. You want right. them to have a good time. Experience, yeah. But I still try to protect my player. I try to do it in a good way. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes it, people have alcohol and they just, you know. So you don't have the time. They, like, they, well, feel like, they feel like they paid their money and they could do, do what they want to do sometimes. Yeah, we had the – I think the worst the fans have – have been when we first came back from the pandemic when they first started letting fans come back. Mm. Didn't know how to act. Because they had so much built up, you know, they was in the house. They couldn't go nowhere, you know. So then when... They opened the gates. They opened the gates. Now back outside, everybody outside, we ain't got to wear the the mask. We outside (laughs) and we drinking. (sighs) We partying, you know, so... (laughs) Hey, that's when we outside, man. you know, they having a good time, but we steady trying to play golf, so they forgot we playing golf. Yeah, it's an end turned yeah, into a party. Like a party yeah. Speaking of the opening gates, man, how's that 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 waste management atmosphere as a caddy, man? Like those dudes, man, probably the wildest dudes out there. Yeah, and so there, I don't say nothing to the fans. <laughs> man, <laughs> they don't hear you no way. They're not paying no attention to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't even want to be saying that. Just let the fans keep talking because it sounds like white noise because Mm. everybody doing. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So if you try to stop them and then they start, yeah, (laughs) yeah. (laughs) You know, that's just causing more problems than just letting it keep going. So that's what you a veteran caddy, a good caddy, will know. Hey, waste management don't even say nothing because these people be drunk. They might start just following you around, and every time you play, get ready to hit, take it back. They ah, you know what I mean? Oh, that's dirty! <laughs> wow, you don't want to create Man. no enemies. Yeah, you can't, yeah, you can't be the reason they create them enemies. Yeah, not that waste management. <laughs> that's funny. I'm like, they was throwing bottles for an ace, bro. Like, imagine if Man. you tell them to shut. Hey, we all be quiet. Ah, oh, just right the head off. Back swing, a, 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 a cup of beer. Yeah, yeah. yeah, waste management. You sit back and, and let the fans kind of enjoy themselves. Yeah. But, hey, so yeah. so I know I know typically I know what I hear typically is like when you get into the golf industry, you you lose the ability to golf. You know what I mean? Like that's what a lot of people say. I guess unless you're playing, I don't think that's the case with you. No, nah. you yeah, <laughs> <He's> <laughs> like not. that boy be out there getting it. 
I got to get it. I got to keep my blade sharp just in case one of y'all boys want to pull up on him. Hey, sure. hey. Hey, next time you in Texas, man. We hey, we're trying to pull up, man. Let's just pull up. I ain't, I ain't gonna say hey, we gonna. Sure I ain't gonna I beat you. you. I just wanna up, play with man. you. Gotta make sure I cut you up, dog. <laughs> <laughs> you know hey, man. As soon we get, hey, soon we get off this call, dog. I'm going to the garage, man. I'm going. I'm, I, gotta, <laughs> I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta get hey, myself hey, ready. I to, I, I've been looking for that smoke. I ain't hear it roaring a couple times, so, man. You playing? I'm in. I'm in that the fuck, huh? He ain't ready. He ain't ready. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. He's scared. I just. He's scared. I just want to make sure the last time let me see we said uh I sent the last text. I sent oh. the last text. Not that I <laughs> wanted to smoke. Not that I wanted to smoke. But 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 I sent the last text. What'd you but, say? You know, I said uh you said now, what is what it? my, my last text? That... Hold on, go with my last text. What was my last text? Let me see. Let me see. Where the word is my get up to today. Nope. I'll put it on I know Roy wasn't talking noise. He better not be. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. They, 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 they already know what it is and what it ain't gonna be. <laughs> yeah. Now we're supposed to we're supposed to play. We're supposed to play on like a Thursday, and then he I got was waiting on you to hit me up. No, no, I was waiting on him to hit me. Up. I just figured oh. I wasn't at your level. I just oh. figured I wasn't oh. at your level. I mean, you we're probably like, we're you look. like you act like we're not gonna play for money. Like like I got the game to play for the money. You know what I mean? No, we play for push ups. For push ups, then I I eat them. <laughs> well, I hey, want hey, hey. to sit down there and on my card and watch you eat them after I tell you up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, hey, hey you got the AT&T 50, coming 50, soon, though. Hey, 50, 50, 50, 50 for the front, 50 for the back, 50 overall. I'll give you how many strokes you need, dog. Yeah, oh. that, was, that was my next question. Now I am. Yeah, saying. hey, <laughs> look, hey, I mean, hey, Roy, this is the one time you asked for strokes. <laughs> yeah, this is the one yeah. time you asked for strokes right here. I need, I need, I need approximately two per hole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a 32 hey, handicap. Uh, <laughs> no cap. Yeah. Hey, hey, what's that, Wayne? What's that? I, I yeah. need uh, two shots. <laughs> hey, we'll play the front and then we'll readjust. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Got bet that. money, bet money. Oh, slight, a sliding scale. Hey, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you this: if you take, if you play for no tips, Roy gonna lose his mind. So, Roy, you already. Get, hey, I'm gonna yeah, bring him down there to Thorn Tree where I play his real tight golf. Oh yeah, I've yeah, been there. yeah. We done been, been there. there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Been there. And I only, I only survived nine because it is very tight. <laughs> it's a very tight golf course. And yeah. I did have, I did have obligations that evening that I was not willing. Once I saw the fairways, I was not willing to cancel them. Why <laughs> the fairways? I, I probably would have canceled a few things. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I've been down there with Mercer. That. I was down there with Mercer one time. Uh, uh, hey, I hope Mercer see this. Y'all let Mercer know he has to speed up his play. <laughs> man, <laughs> shots I, shots we, we will tag. We will tag hey, him on that. That man, that season. man is such a good dude, humble dude, strong. You talking about Tim? No, his brother. Aaron, Aaron. Yeah, Aaron. Aaron. Oh, I have, okay, I haven't played his brother yet. Yeah, yeah, I play with. Yeah, I play with. Hey, good dude, solid, solid dude. Well, I say Aaron. I had stopped playing with Aaron because he was playing too far. I said, bro, slow, bro. Like, bro, I'm going to sleep right now, bro. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, bro, when I come home and want to play golf, I want to go and play. I don't... <laughs> we taking too long. <laughs> you know? so is, is that really a problem on the PGA Tour, though? Like, is that really a problem on the PGA Tour? Like, dude, they really play slow out there, bro. Like, or is it just like... I mean, that's but they just... play... Every like, shot counts. Every shot counts, and it, it's like they playing for so much money, man. This they livelihood. This not like, straight yeah. up. This yeah, this is up. not like 10, 10, 10 and You playing with your boy at five, 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 or, yeah. or even if y'all playing for some more money bigger than that. Yeah. This is like millions, and this is how they provide for their family and yeah. everything. So you don't want to be like just rushing those shot, just hitting it. You know right. what I mean? And it's like right every back, yeah. everyone counts. So it's like. At the end of the day, you want to be like, I right, did I put a hundred percent into every shot? Because if you ain't putting a hundred percent into every shot, then that shot ain't gonna come out like you oh, think. notes. There's my notes right there. I need to put a hundred percent. There you go, yeah. Write that down. Nah, he good. said if you playing for millions, dog. He said if you playing for millions. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm playing for pride. Nah, nah. I'm playing hey, for pride. 80% will way. do, my dog. 80%. Hey, you might, hey, hey, you might have a slow down. He'll be taking about five minutes of stroke over here, trying nah. to analyze the wind, throwing the grass. Like hey, hey I'm that, playing for my pride. Is that for my pride? I mean, I feel, I feel like, I feel like everybody can go through their routine and do all of that, but do it quickly. Quick, yeah, like, yeah. like you kind of know what club you finna get ready to hit off the tee before you get there. 
Yeah. Get in. So go ahead and grab, get that club. In your hand. Yeah. You know you're going to need a ball, and you know you're going to need a tee. <laughs> yeah. So go ahead and get your scope and be ready to go. get your glove on. Right. So you be ready to go. When is your time to go? And you can still get up there and be like, man, what a win. You know, pick your target, go through your routine, couple practice plays, and go. And it still don't take a long time because you already ready when it's your time to go. Just be ready when it's your time to go and, and oh, play on. I play a go. Fast. Yeah, I mean, all, I, 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 yeah. all, all I know is this: whenever we play, I want to hear it. Like, I feel like this is why I always lean on Mike. I don't understand. Like, when you you talking about the wind, the grain direction, the slut, like hitting on the uphill lines. I, I don't oh, know. Oh yeah, man, that, bro. Like those I, are I, those are factors. I mean, the grain grain yeah. is different. Uh, yeah, I'm like I, I want to know. I did hear. I did hear that like the 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 direction of the grain will dramatically affect the putt. But I heard that, and then it went out the other ear. So I know yeah. it exists. I don't, yeah, like, I don't be you, you only go, you only I, I would, go, I would, I would love to hear that. I would love to hear that, bro. Like, because you got to think, bro, like, as like as a college athlete, like, it's like a scout report, bro. Like, the more information you know on your opponent, the better you can be prepared. I right. feel like I – like, as far as – I know the holes. Like, I know, okay, like, if it's a tier green, whatever. I know, like, I don't need to miss lift, but, like, just to understand a course on a deep, deep level, like a, like a caddy, I would love to just to pick your brain, like, bro, like, so tell me about this shot. Like, how should I approach this shot? Because I have no idea. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. He might be bringing another guest. We got the book. Yeah. He put like, he got like, too, like, man. Like, have, have, like, boy, have y'all ever Wayne had, 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 A1 courses. I know, but here's the thing. Like, have you ever played with – I've never – like, ever. Yeah, I did. Have y'all played with Caddy? Amanda. I did. Yeah, see, Amanda. But did, did they just give you yardages or did they give you – like, they quickly found out that I was incapable of doing whatever they told me to do. <laughs> so it ended up being it ended up being a lot of jokes, you know what I'm saying? Hey, and man, I, was playing with, I was playing with Roger, Christian, and and Joe. So it's mm -hmm. not like it was like I was a mediocre player in a trash group of players. You know what I mean? It was like, hey, yeah, a. B. bro, after why the first hole, they was hoping they had. Hey, after the first hole, it was like, hey man, hey let's trade real quick, man. Hey, <laughs> I, it, was, it was it was. Were you there? No, that's, right. exact, that's exactly how it went down. <laughs> and He's like, that's and it, it was, like. it's not like it wasn't like everybody had a caddy. It was like one guy was carrying two bags. Uh oh, he, he bring it out. He bring out the book. Oh, it, it, is that a caddy book? Oh, oh. Yeah, he bring hey, out the we book. in this thing. I'm, I'm really gonna take notes. Y'all think I'm bullshit? Hey, hey, I'm really gonna take notes. Hey, Rory, though, we coming back to that that caddy story though. That's some, I want to hear what happened out there, nah, man. I mean, you heard it. You just, you just... all right. So what's the what's the first the first thing? Because y'all asked me a whole lot at one time. So that let's let's break it down. All right, let's start at the tee shot. What's the what, what what's the first thing as a caddy that you're considering? Like, what's your okay? I guess what's your what's your what's your system? Your yeah, walk yeah, walk to a hole. Your walk to a hole. Yeah. Right. Yeah, just walk us through a hole, right, whatever that looks your like. Your favorite hole, your favorite hole. I ain't going to say my favorite hole, but it's just the process. Like, if yeah. I go this week at number – we start on number 10 this week at Valspar. It's a par four. When you get up on the tee box, first thing you want to look at is where you can miss it. You're always mm -hmm. looking at the fairway. That's where you want to hit it. But mm -hmm. you want to know where you can miss it, you know, and yeah. still be able to play the golf ball. If it's exactly. water over there to the left, you know you can't miss it to the left. Yeah, you know. Uh, right. So you always want to look at where you can miss it first. To me, because yeah. golf is a game of misses. Whoever miss missed the ball the best, gonna be in the best position, probably win the golf golf tournament. Whoever yeah, misses the best, yeah. yeah we you can, you we only gonna hit like right two now. perfect shots. Yeah, that's a big. Hey, that's a big cue. Like a lot of people don't know that. Like I tell people all the time, you know, personally, because I. Everybody, I mean, think golfer is good, but I mean, it, the pros have a smaller like miss window than everybody else. You know, they be hitting shots. Who, who's that? Who do? Who's all doing the golf? Um, that PGA pro that always be throwing clubs after they hit a good shot. Uh, Michael, uh yeah, 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 Hideki, Masayama. yeah, yeah. He, he yeah. throw clubs and he be hitting the ten for the ten feet from the pin. Yeah. He throwing clubs like, <laughs> God damn it! Like, hey, did you did you mean to throw that or twirl that, boy? Because that was <laughs> yeah. the best, that's the shot of the day. Yeah, that's what, but that's their misses though. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I mean by like as a caddy, sometimes uh every player is different. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That might that might get him going. Like, man, that wasn't good enough. Yeah. And try to hit a better shot the next time. Next time. Yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Golfers golfers are weird. You know, everybody got <laughs> their own little little thing. Uh and they superstitious, you know. Some of them are. 
so I don't know. So okay, I had, so you, I, so I, I so, never had a player that like threw a, through clubs and stuff like that. Right. So, oh, okay, so your okay. first, so your first check is because I'm writing this stuff down. You think I'm playing? First <laughs> is okay. Where can where can I where can I miss? Where's my yeah. miss? Right. What's the second thing? And, and, and what club I'm hitting off this tee that's not gonna get me in trouble? Okay. okay. What club is you not know? gonna get me in trouble? So so like on number ten, it's a bunker out there to the left. So me, I don't really like to hit it in that bunker, and I don't want you to bail out there to the right. So I want to hit something that you can swing, swing good on, swing full, because it's an elevated tee shot. Like mm. it's like 15 downhill. So you hit and your ball going to stay in the air a long time. So I want you to hit something that you're real comfortable with. So I want you to be short of that bunker this week, that bunker on 10. Man, so this that can y'all see? The war room. So this the bunk. Yeah, yeah. This the bunk on ten. This the picture book. Yeah. And that bunker on ten is two hundred thirty-five yards to it, and two hundred seventy yards over it. Over it. Yeah. So either I want to be short of this bunker, or, or I want to hit it over this bunker. Yeah. Because if it lands right there around that bunker, it's real tight. Like your okay. landing spot is real tight, so mm-hmm. for you to hit it in a 15 yard gap from an elevated tee shot from 200 and say 56 yards, 260 yards, they're kind of tight, especially if you got a lot of wind. So, okay. this ball staying up in the air a long time, if it's blowing left to right, gonna be blowing the ball all kind of ways, yeah, you know what nice. I'm saying, or right to left, or into the wind, and if it's downwind then that's when you want to take that bunker out of play depending on how far you hit your drive. You hit your driver 280, it's 270 to cover that bunker. It's downwind, send it. That bunker ain't even in play. But if it's pumping into the wind and you hit a 280 and it's 270 to cover that bunker, now driver going to bring that bunker into play. You know what I mean? You don't hit it, you you might end up landing in that bunker. So now we want to hit something just just take that bunker out of play. And then hit some short of that bunker, and then hit some on the green. Okay. And then when you go on your second shot, you're looking to see where you can miss it mm-hmm. in relationship to the pin, because they move the pin. So every day you ain't gonna be able to miss it in the same spot, and it's okay. When on Thursday it might be okay to miss it though, and on on Sunday you miss it there, you did. So hey, boys, really, so they really out there attacking the pins though on that on that at that level. Well, it all depends. You got it, like I say, every player is different. Every mm-hmm. player likes a certain certain yard. Every player like got a, a favorite club, uh a, 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 a wind direction that they like. So sometimes yeah. it'd be the perfect number for them. So you can be aggressive at that at that flag. And sometimes yeah. you in between clubs, so you don't want to too much be aggressive. You're just trying to hit the center of the green, come down on. Whichever side, the best side of the hole, you know what I mean? Right. So if the pin is on the left, then you're trying to come down just right up because you got, that's your arrow. You got more room to work Mm -hmm. with. If you miss it way right, you got a lot of green to get up and down. But on the PJ Tour, you miss it short. So thick, the greens be so firm and fast, it be hard to get it up and down short side unless you chipping back up the hill. So it's on very few holes that you play that it's okay to be like long to or short side because you're chipping back up hill or you're chipping back up into the wind based on okay. your conditions. You know what I'm saying? Man, man. You got the notes? Oh, yeah. Well, here's, so, the, here's so, the thing. I, I, notes, but my level of play don't even qualify for some of these <laughs> notes. Yeah. But it's, it, information is key. Like, and you know, information, knowledge is power, man. So when I get to that level, I'll have this information already handy, so I'm good. You know? Yeah, you yeah, just, so just start, just play to your strength. I tell amateur guys, you know, don't be trying to hit the ball like the pro. Play to your strength. You can't really hit your driver that good. All right, keep that out your bag. Hit your three wood. Keep your ball in play, and then play to your strength. If you know you're not good at your wedges, don't be laying the ball up in 
a wedge yardage. yardage. Yeah, yeah, right. A wedge right. yardage. So right. Fall back to your seven iron since you build it with your seven iron from one fifty. Hit the club to get you to that number, so you have a better chance to hit the green. Man, oh, oh, I got a question for you because I don't know why I just thought. I know because you, you heard. I, what, what, man, so here's the thing. So like, so first of all, I'm the shortest in the group. We're just gonna put that out there. And I'm also the I'm I'm also I don't I don't hit as long as these guys do. Like yardage for yards, I don't hit as far as they do. Bro, is distance really king? Like, so so Mike up here, he can hit he can hit the ball 300 plus, but he puts as a like a 35 handicap. So to me, it it, 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 it cancels out. But is distance really king? Like, like is, does it really make that much of a difference out there? Like from a caddy, like man, if I really had a player that can hit this ball 320 every time. I can get more checks per se. Like, is that is it really like that out there? Look at that. Look that's at that. That's not what we wanted to that. hear. <laughs> that's not what I wanted to hear. Damn it. Wanted to uh, hear. Damn it. Uh, if there's, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say that's, this. A, that's on the pro <laughs> level. He's not. She's not speaking for amateurs. I'm, I'm, He's I'm not speaking for amateurs. That. I'm just saying, hitting the 320 always helps because you can take care of the part fives and you can get it back quick. You can get it back on any okay. hole when you hit it that far. You okay. know. Uh, okay. So that's why I say distance helps. But the game and change, just like all the games and change, football and change from back in the day, basketball yeah. and change back in the day, golf and change. Back in the day, yeah. it was all about accuracy. Swing, smooth and easy, hit it in the fairway, hit it on the green. None of you boys out here smash it. Send yeah. it and go find it find and try it, to hit yeah. it up on the green and yeah. roll it in. I guess and I gotta change my game up, up then. God, they, they had this book. <laughs> should have. I should have never asked this damn question. Hey, never mind. Never mind. I don't even want to know the answer anymore. Though. But, but it, distance, wanna... distance only help you on golf courses that's like why open, yeah. open, open. You know, and if you are halfway decent wedge player or rough player, then you can and strong, right? So Ooh, most guys it. who hit it far are strong. So they're hitting it far. If they own, they in the fairway way down there. It's perfect. But when they not on, they still far way down there. It's just in the rough. And then they yeah. strong enough to muscle, muscle it out, out of the rough right. yeah. to get it to like the front of the green or somewhere around the green and, and then get, get and it up and down. Gotcha. And so they still making four. They tapping in for four and giving themselves a look at birdie. But they just so far down there, you know, so they take out. All the other stuff, but you have right, other guys just bigger. hit the fairway. Hit so what's your excuse, Mike? What's your excuse, Mike? Because you know, hey, hey, my I'll, be on, I'll be on Mike's ass. Play. I'll be on Mike's ass because he's hey, putter, so damn far. Hey, so. I, I love the uh, golf courses get a lot bigger, man. And I tell you, we'll talk. And and wait, I don't know if it's because you. I don't know how if you're a long ball hitter or not, but like, I actually feel like I suck a lot more on smaller courses because I can't play my game. Like on big courses, I eat them up. Small courses, yeah. I feel like I can't play them. Yeah, so you you got to be able to have a game that travels, my boy. Hey, mm. hey, hey, hey! Talk your ish. Talk your ish. Hey. Tell that boy, man. <laughs> Tell hey, that boy, it. man. And hey, you taking notes, Mike? Tell that game. boy, man. Like, you, you act like Wayne talking on your behalf, dog. He, just he is. <laughs> he is. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Foster, hey, speak no, your I'm ish, man. Hey, 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 Wayne. He mad. He mad. Come on. He mad because my three iron go as far as his driver, man. That's all. He mad about that. That's Bro, all. Bro, you shouldn't even said that because you know what's coming next, dog. You hey, know do, do you win, Mike? Do you win, my boy? You already knew that was coming <laughs> next. Good. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey you I knew. Think I keep keep, 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 hitting, hey, keep hitting that ball 330. I'm going to keep winning, dog. It's not about those strokes, bro. It's not about them yards, man. Hey, so so Mike cool. over there, long drive, make five. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what? Hey, hey, <laughs> come on, Wayne. If you if you want to back for him, you're not winning, man. Long drive, make five. Hey, Wayne. If you on my bag, they know these courses. Though they know these courses. Hey, if you on my bag, Wayne, we winning, bro. We getting these checks. If you on his bag, you just you just you just be in front of us, but you're not getting the bag, though. What, what, what's this that made? Come on, man. The last one. Oh, I guess you comparing you and Mike. If you just comparing you and Mike. And uh, here's the thing: you don't, you don't, and you don't know this. You don't know this, Wayne. But typically, I'm the winner in this group. But you know, it is what it is. He said typically. He so since we typically. had the podcast, one time bro, he, he won the last one, dog. He won. You the only last good. Hey, you only good as your last match, bro. Come on, let's be real, man. Hey, I'm gonna send you to, just like I always say. I'm gonna send you this link, uh, Wayne, to, this, <laughs> to the match that we played. So we got two video. We got two rounds recorded 
and technically Seven, one and in half. them two. One and a half. No, 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 no. I'm talking about me and B got one, and then oh, the ball okay, okay. got one. So if we go to the footage of the hey, full hey, 18 you know whole what? rounds, what's your record? It's good. Wayne come out here. He see all of us on the course, and then he can, you know, speak his ish afterwards. This is what he's going to say. This is what he's going to say. He, he for all say, y'all in Dallas. Yeah, we are. Yeah, no, hey, I'm, I'm on Mike, Mike in Houston now. Mike in Houston now. Mike in Houston. He can drive. He's only driving all the time, man. Eh. Yeah. This is what you're going to say. You, this is what you're going to say, bro. You're going to say, dog. Mike hit the ball far. Then you're gonna say, Man, Brandon be accurate. And then you're gonna say, Damn, Rory swings like he should be on tour catching chips. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're gonna say. You're gonna say, like, Rory got a smooth swing. I don't know why you play that bad, but it's like, <laughs> and, and I'm gonna be honest with you, dog. When I first got in it, I was I was for real. I was just like, I just want to be able, I just want to be able to get in there and like people respect like what the game is gonna be. Yeah, yeah, you know, he was off, he was off. Cause I, I used to be, I used to be like real bad, and like the last time we played, actually, I was back to real bad. But, uh, <laughs> but I, like when I, that was kind of the point that I wanted to get to, where I was like, my swing, my swing looked good, and people they'd be like, man, I don't know how that ball ended up way over there with a swing like that. You know what I'm saying? So that's well, what you gonna say. That's what the group well, is. That's what the group is, dog. Hey, we gonna let you right decide, there. bro. When you come out here, let you decide. He long, he long, I smooth, and then hey. and then he and he got the he's the most he's consistent. Short. Brandon, the <laughs> this most is, consistent. This is, Hey, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do We're going to do, right do three verse one. We're going to do three verse one. We, it's going to be oh, us three against you, Wayne. No, it's going to be us three versus best ball. Hey. Yeah, that would be that. Our, our best ball. Right our best ball our versus best you. Ball versus Wayne Andre, no. <laughs> you down with that, Wayne? What's up, bro? You, you want that yeah, small? Hold on, get a notepad out. Y'all trying to crowd, man. Yeah, straight up. Yeah, we got the numbers. We got numbers. No strokes make it fair. I ain't going to run from no smoke, man. I love it. Hey, hey. It's on record. It's on record. That's hey, how we we'll get you out here, bro. Next time you out here, yeah. let us know. We'll, we'll get it on there. We'll, yeah. we'll bring y'all straight to throwing tree. Though I'm gonna pick the course. That's fine. Okay. Pick it. Hey. That's fine. That's that's fair. That's fine. He hit fairways. Brandon hit. Yeah. Fairways, though. Hey. We'll yeah. Be we'll be yeah. Straight. Throwing. I like throwing tree. I, that's 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 Thomas a home course. So that's what's up. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Sound good. Yeah. Sound yeah. good. Till I, till I get on that tee box. That's true. That's true. That's true. Hey, we all gonna be yeah. walking off, you know, all head down and stuff like. Right. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's get ourselves in shape. Yeah, what you we're call it? The smoothie king. Yeah. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have a good time. All y'all boys gonna get swole though. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, first thing I'm gonna say is what we get ourselves into. God damn, we get ourselves into. Y'all gonna be out there in that park. I want them in the parking lot. You did what I'm saying. All y'all out there like hey, y'all. Hey, uh, hey, hey, no cameras. Hey. No cameras. It's gonna look like Camp Gladiator. It's gonna look like a Camp Gladiator. <laughs> right. Hey, why y'all got a video of y'all crying on, on, uh, on YouTube? Man. You gonna have a track Gladiator shirt. <laughs> We got trap hey. fitness over here. Trap is straight up. Steve Boy over there working out. Straight hey, up. We're gonna start a whole new pair line. Straight up. Hey, so so one thing, one thing, and then and I want to be mindful because you want you know you on a business trip, and I know y'all. Uh, what's that? Wednesday, today, Wednesday. So I know y'all gonna be teeing up in the morning. So if at we any tea, point you feel we like we're up late, man. Um, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we we afternoon. We last tea time tomorrow. But so okay. one of the things, one of the things that I've heard, like, so when I used to hoop, like my dad told me, he was like, listen to the commentators, you know what I mean? And you could learn a lot. So like some of the stuff that you said off the tee, I mean, that you're talking about that you, that you look at on the tee is the same thing you hear the commentators because they've been in that. So they kind of giving us a piece of, you know what I mean? Like that insight. Uh, Y'all also, another thing that I heard that's like very impressive is like, you guys know the pin placement. And so you like, okay, hey, you want to be on the left side because it opens up your next shot. You know what I mean? Like. Is that is that that that's accurate? That's something that you know. I know all those guys are capable of hitting those shots. So y'all yeah. even looking at like I, I was watching a tournament last week, and they were like, you looked at all three balls, and they ended up in the same spot. You know what I mean? Like on the left mm. side, like left center fairway. And I'm like, mm. man, these boys are like throwing driver darts. You know what I mean? Like just for their next shot, and then all of them hit the same spot on the green and spin back, and one guy close, one guy closer, and one guy closer, but they all played the hole the same way. You know, yeah. I get pin sheets, right? Yes, I get the pin yeah. sheets every morning. Yeah, we get the pin sheets every morning. They come out the night before, so like the pin sheets, they out now on Twitter, and we can put them in our pen. So like this right here, <clears throat> as you can see in this this bunker. Can y'all see that? Yeah. Let me see. Let me see. Maybe I turn this around. Can I flip this? No, I can't even flip my screen, huh? Nope. We can see, okay. we've seen it, though. Yeah, we can we see saw, it. We got it, yeah. So, like, 
this number 10 and one, two, three, four. These are the pin positions. Yeah, hold it, hold it up, hold it up a little bit. Yeah, right there, yeah, yeah. Right there. yeah. All right, so you can see them in the pin position one, two, three, and four. From, so that's, that's the four days. That's yeah, from previous. Oh, so okay. each year they're gonna be somewhere around now. Might not be exactly like 17 and four, it might be like 15 and five. You know mm, what I'm okay. saying? 15 on and five from the right. And the year before, it might have been 17 on and four from the right. You know, so it's somewhere around there. So, like, this bunker, I got to these pins right here, it's okay. Even to this one, it's okay. But this bunker is dead. It got X's everywhere. We don't want no parts of that. You did. So, X, gotcha. and you said X's everywhere. You're looking at, like, this part of the bunker at... You got three X's, so it's like this part of bunker is accessible sometimes. No, and, this but this, this part, one, this part over here, this bunker is okay. You hear if your ball finish up here, it's okay. I own too much light back here, so I ain't putting it in right there. I own yeah. too much like it, but if we hit, if we can get the ball up here, that's okay. It's kind of like on the upslope. Anything over here, I don't like because it's on the downslope, and then you hitting back up hill and everything rolling okay. away from you. So can you, you hold it up a little bit more so I can see? I want to see the good bunker. Oh, you have. Good. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. There you go. So you got an excellent. Oh, you got okay, okay. Yeah, so I got so okay I right there. So that bunker right there is okay. You did. The yeah. other one x out. We can't go there. Let's see if I got anything. This is another bunk, bunker on the hole. 11, the part five. So you see them holes. That's where the hole be. I got this bunker okay. And these bunkers over here. Okay. So if we can get it there, that's good. That's better than being in that rough. Okay. Gotcha. That's what's that's up. Amazing. Yeah. It's amazing so, how much like, it is. This is like, another one where I got X's. But right here is like I got that little straight face. That's like it ain't, it ain't ah. okay, but it ain't terrible either. You know what I mean? <laughs> Bare minimum. Got, like, got emojis. At worst. <laughs> that man drawed emojis. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so be bunker trash. They like, be like, is that bunker all right? I'm like, you know. Do you, do, you, do you hold on to your books after every round? Do you use, like, do you recycle your books? Yeah, I, keep, I hold on to all mine because I got a ton of juniors. Right? So okay. I be teaching them how to read a Greens book. And then they might have a tournament at this golf course down the road. And I can give them that, that, that yardage mm -hmm. book, and they already got a heads up, like, you know, help out. So I do this with Logan Baptiste. Uh, he played mm -hmm. in a good golfer. He playing in the Mac Champ next week. So he got my yardage book from when we played at Houston. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? Uh guy named Christopher Styles who played well, of San Jose, San Jose State. He he played his first professional event a couple of weeks ago, a PGA event. He still played as an amateur. He played at San Jose State, but he played at TPC Harden Park. So he reached out to me and was like, hey, you still got your yardage book from the PGA Championship? I'm like, oh, yeah. So I went back in my, my little box looking for it, got it, overnighted it to him to go play in that tournament. So he had my yardage book playing that tournament. This is his first professional tournament. He finished 15, shot even the first day, shot one over the second. You know what I mean? And he's just a sophomore in college. Hmm. Man, what what course in Houston were you, uh, was, was that at going on? They playing at uh, Memorial Park. Oh, that course is long and, and treacherous. Yeah, you need to go out there and uh, check them out on the 18th and the 19th. And they have okay. it live, live streaming too. It's gonna be live all around the world. You can watch the juniors play. The shit gonna that's be That's around dope. the corner from me. It, yeah, yeah, it's, it's around gonna the be like the player, It's like the players' championship for juniors. Mac Champ okay. Invitation. <clears throat> okay. Bet. Yep. Good stuff. Eighteen to nineteen of this month. Bet. Okay. Up, well, uh. Hey man, I, I don't know about you guys, bro. This been it's been this exactly what I thought it was, dog. I was like, I was so excited when when you said that you was gonna jump on, cause I'm like, I, 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 I we all watched the tour at some point, you know what I mean? But just to be able to get it from really, really to be able to hear it, but like you hear the announcers talking about it, but 
the announcers don't sound like Wayne O'Drano. You know what I mean? Straight like, up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah like, they, they don't sound, sound like that. I've been telling them, I said, man, y'all need to let me do some on course, man. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't ready. Uh, they ain't ready. ready. Facts. Yeah, facts. They ain't ready for that, man. They letting them come in, but they ain't ready for that. Yeah, they taking <laughs> steps, bro. But I know, I know it's much needed, bro. Yeah, yeah. they need Roger. They need, they need somebody like Roger, though. Yeah, go out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Straight up. He needs I, I, to be out there. Doing I, I, would, I would like to see. I would like to see. You know, on one of your one of your off weeks when y'all not playing, I would love to see both of y'all. On a, in a booth, you know what I mean? Like, oh, big on, fans, yeah. you know, yeah, I'm I mean, that. both yeah, of y'all with all, all oh, your yeah, knowledge, that'd be super dope. Yeah, oh. yeah, bro. I mean, to have both y'all on there, uh, I think that's. <laughs> I think that's I think that must go on. <laughs> I think that's must see TV. I yeah, might, I up, might cancel some fan. teams. I might cancel <laughs> some teams. Camp out like it was the players just to watch that. Hey, that'd be dope, man. Y'all sell that, yeah, man. But you always welcome my man. You let, let's know you we in Dallas, our H Town, whatever in Texas, man. You know, we we'd be glad to get you on the course. You mm-hmm. know, get around and learn from you, you know, on the course. But I mean, we yes, appreciate sir. your time, man. Oh, I appreciate y'all having me, man. Make sure oh, y'all yeah. tell everybody to go to trapgolf.com. Trap golf. Hey. 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 Get Mr. Travis hey. Stay Travy. We hey. in the building. Wayno Wayno Drano, aka Trap Golf in the building, man. Himself. Mr. Trap hey, Golf in the building. Hey. Hashtag himself, stay hey. trapping, hey. man. Hashtag <laughs> stay trapping. Man, hey. y'all boy be cool, man. Hey man, good hey, luck this week, bro. Good luck. Hey, good luck, man. Yeah, big facts. Appreciate it. All right, man. Later. Yeah. This is the garbage.